Okay, good morning. I would like to know if you remember as a child your parents telling you that it's impolite to point. Well, of course these days it is still impolite to point, unless of course you are a German Scheuer pointer. As future and potential dog owners, I would like to take a little bit of time to tell you about this, this versatile hunting dog and a great family dog. I have owned GSPs since 1998, and I have found them to be a fun, loving, and active breed. I kind of compare them to potato chips, where you just can't seem to have one. The American Kennel Club, which is also known as the AKC, recognizes over 175 different breeds of dogs. The German Short Hair Pointer ranks number 13 out of the 175 different breeds. So today, I would like to take some time to tell you where they came from, their appearance, their personality, and their general overall exercise and care of the breed. As you probably suspect from its name, the German Short Hair Pointer originated in Germany in the 19th century. The German hunters wanted a dog that had a great nose, that could both point, retrieve, track, both furred and feathered friend, on and off land. So as you can see, this dog is pretty versatile. In addition, they wanted a great dog that could be a good family member in the evening time when they weren't hunting. So what breeds make up this uh, dog? There's no firm confirmation on what breeds make up the German Shorter Pointer. However, it's thought to be that they are made up of a Spanish Pointer, a German Bird Dog, a Bloodhound, a Foxhound, and later on they threw in an English Pointer to give the breed some speed and agility. This, this dog was bred purely for its functionality, however it came out looking pretty attractive as well. The German Shorter Pointer made its way to America in 1920. And by 1930, the American Kennel Club recognized this breed as an official breed of the American Kennel Club. And as I mentioned earlier, it ranks number 13, and within the American Kennel Club, it's in the sporting group. How did the German Pointer get their German Shorter Pointer get their name? They get their name from the stance that they take when they're hunting. So as you can see on the screen, they, are, they take on the stance of a point. So their muzzle, or the nose of the dog, will align uh, evenly with their back and their tail will go straight out. And generally they pick up their leg here in the shape of an arrow. This is uh, innate in the dog. This is, it's, this is not something that they learn, but something that's bred into them. So as you can see, this young puppy right here, although he's not, he or she is not in the perfect stance, he, this puppy is already learning to point. We're already pointing at this young age. What do they look like? Um, they are a lean, athletic, powerful, yet graceful dog. And as the American Kennel Club stated, and I would like to quote them verbatim, the German short haired pointer is an aristocratic, well-balanced, symmetrical animal with confirmation indicating power, endurance, and agil agility, and a look of intelligence and animation. So according to the Encyclopedia of Dog Breeds, the German short haired pointers, the male German short haired pointers, they grow about 24 inches to the shoulders, and they can weigh anywhere from 55 to 70 pounds. The female German short hair pointers, they're a bit smaller. They average about 22 inches at the shoulders, and they can weigh anywhere from 45 to 60 pounds. Um, however, with my own personal experience, my current German short hair pointers that I have now take on the exact opposite roles there. Uh, my female is about 24 inches tall, and she's a good solid 60 pounds. And my male, he's a little on the short side at 22 uh, inches tall, and he weighs 50 pounds. So uh, even though that's the breed standard, they don't always follow that. Overall, the male German short hair pointer looks more masculine. They have a broader chest and a bigger head, and they'll, their jowls, the jowls is the loose skin that falls on the sides of the mouth, will be longer than on the female. And of course, the females, they're more feminine, they're not as... Uh, broad in the shoulders, little smaller head and neck. The color of the coat, they come in several different varieties. Uh, they come in a solid liver color, which you see up there. 
And they also come in ticked, which ticked means it's dark hair that is grown into the white, to the lighter color of the hair. So the German Shorthair Pointer puppies are actually born white, and as they mature, the ticking will come out in their fur. So they can either be heavily ticked or lightly ticked. Uh, they can also have liver spots. As you see up here in the corner, this dog has liver spots. And the liver spots are just solid uh, colored fur on the, on the dog. So they come in several different colors. Uh, they also can come in black and white. However, you won't see them very often in the United States because the black and white ones are not recognized by the American Kennel Club. The black and white ones are recognized by the UKC, the United Kingdom Kennel Club, and they're more often seen over in Germany. I often refer to my own dogs as a dark chocolate, special, special dark, Hershey's dark, and a milk chocolate because that was the different colors of the dogs that they can come in. Their coat is also very uh, short. The hair is short and thick, uh, which they, and they have a dense undercoat, which the dense undercoat makes them water repellent. Um, I can compare it to a duck, a duck, duck's feathers. So when they go in the water to retrieve game, the water just kind of rolls off their back, which can make bath time a little difficult when trying to wet down this dog to give them a bath, but uh, it can happen. And also their dense undercoat makes them more adaptable to the cold weather. Uh, a short-haired dog, some of you may think, oh, a short-haired dog doesn't shed. Uh, That's not true. Uh, the German short hair pointer is an average shedder. The hair is very short and fine and sticks to everything but the dog. Uh, so, but a weekly brushing of this, this dog will get most of the dead hair out of their, their coat. Their head is can come in two colors. As you see, the puppies up here, the one puppy has a solid liver color head, and I think I forgot to mention that liver color is anywhere from a reddish brown to a deep chocolate brown. So they had, he has a solid head, and the puppy on the other side has a blaze going up his head. So what a blaze is, it's just a white strip of hair that starts at the dog's nose and usually goes up between the eyes. And this female, this little female dog here, she has a nice blaze. Uh, they have brown almond-shaped eyes, big floppy ears, and a nose, big brown nose, that matches their coat color. So as I stated earlier, the German short hairs that are black and white, they will have a black nose, and the liver dogs will have a brown, uh, brown nose. They also have a docked tail, and what a docked tail is, is when the puppies are born, it's actually a removal, uh, remo they remove part of the tail. So um, they do that in the United States, but the German short hair pointers in Germany, it's illegal to dock tails over there. So the German short hair pointers that you see in Germany are sporting a full natural tail. These dogs are famous for hunting, um, but they make a great pet due to their very loving demeanor. They're very affectionate and willing to please, and they're faithful and dedicated to their owners, which makes them a great, great watchdog. These dogs love to be with their people. Um, as stated by the German short hair Pointer Re National Rescue Chairman, her name is Uta Willicott, and she often refers to these dogs as a Velcro dog because they can be very clingy um, and just love to be with their owners. They do not do well separated uh, from their family. I have seen it with my own eyes, a German short hair pointer climbing a six foot wooden fence. So if they do not get enough attention, they will find other ways of getting their energy out by, I don't know, maybe digging in your flower bed or pulling toilet paper throughout your house, you name it. So I have to ask you, do you need an exercise partner? Uh, the German short hair pointer is a tireless breed. They will exercise as much exercise. They will exercise as much exercise as you can give them. Uh, an average hour a day is good exercise for them. So even though these are hunter dog hunting dogs, they can do well in a household that doesn't hunt. I, I personally do not hunt, and I've had four German Shorter pointers. 
So as I stated earlier, as long as you give them a, an outlet for their energy, they will be by your side at night while you sit down to watch TV. Consider yourself warned. If the German Shorter Pointer does not get enough exercise, they will, as I stated earlier, find a way to entertain themselves. So uh, today I provided you some information on the German Shorter Pointer and hope that you will consider this breed of dog when you're looking to adopt your next pet. There are many different breeds out there and I understand that the German Short Hair Pointer may not be uh, the breed for you, but I just ask that you consider this beautiful dog. Uh, this is my dog, Rudy. Uh, <clears throat> so I appreciate your undivided attention and whether you decide to adopt a GSP or any other breed, remember the words of Roger Karras and he stated that dogs are not our whole lives, but they make our lives whole. Thank you.